welcome to another edition of the Sewing Guru. Now in the previous videos I showed you how to put on the lapels of your pyjamas and we finished off the collar as well. And in this video I'm going to show you how to attach the sleeves onto your pyjama top. So, as you can see here, we have our complete sleeve panel, and of course, there's two of them. And I've still got the pattern paper on there as well, so what we're going to do is just remove this pattern paper first of all. So we're just going to just take out all of the pins. There's another pin here. Another one here. Right, there we go, that's our pattern now removed. I'm just going to fold this up and discard this and put it back in my envelope. So, basically what we're going to be doing is the first part is working with the sleeve head here. Okay, and what you need to do is you need to get the sleeve head point. Now, usually, you can fold this over, and if this sleeve head matches, if these lines match each other, as you can see, oh, I'll just get, so we've got two there, if they, if they match exactly, you know that the sleeve head is going to be here. So I'm just going to... What we're going to do is just stick a pin, like so, in the top there, for our sleeve head. Now, of course, there is two, so we need to do that for both of our sleeve head points, like so. Now, like I said, they were exactly the same. Now, with some sleeves, like, for instance, on a tailor jacket... Um, basically, this, this sleeve head would be a slightly different shape to this sleeve head here, because you've got a front and a back, so slightly different. So, what you would do is you would get your notch points from your pattern, but because this is just a casual pyjama sleeve, you don't need to do that with your pattern. You can just find the sleeve head notch point by folding them in half. Now, if you want to, you can actually look at your pattern, for instance here and it shows you where the sleeve head notch is where it's marked on your pattern okay but I, I've marked mine on my sleeve head right now so what we need to do is we need to bring over our pajama top now if I just position this in such a way where you can see what we're doing so it's going to take the sleeve head out of the way for now and we're going to just position this because it's a bit sort of panels all over really so as you can see we've got our front panel here because we've got the pocket okay like so we have our shoulder point here this is a shoulder seam uh, the front panel and the back panel and basically our sleeve Oh, just put the pin back. We only, we only need one sleeve. Okay. The sleeve head needs to fit in here. So this sleeve head part, all this here, is fitted in here. So basically what you've got to do is, just to make sure that it's going to fit, is we measure around this sleeve head right round all the way to this point and this here should measure exactly the same okay or thereabouts it's, you know it's, it's going to roughly be exactly the same so when when you've measured that now i know that mine is the same and it's going to fit perfectly what we need to do is we need to just put the right sides together okay now with my cotton it's the same on the right, the in, this, this side of the fabric and this side is exactly the same. So I haven't got a right or a wrong side. 
So what I'm going to do is just position this so it's easier for me to just pin this. Okay, so again as you can see you've got the front panel here, the pocket, because you can tell by the pocket. And we've got here our arm side or arm opening. And we need to just get the sleeve with right sides together. Okay, so if you've got like a pattern or something on your pyjamas, you need to get the right sides facing each other. So you're looking at the wrong side. Okay, and put your pin or the notch point exactly on the shoulder seam here. What we're doing is we're just pinning this sleeve. Just get a few pins. We're just pinning this sleeve into the arm side opening. So as you can see, mine fits exactly right. Okay, because it's measured in exact the, the same measurements for the arm side and the sleeve head. And of course we need to do that all the way around the other side as well. And of course you're going to be doing this for both of your sleeve panels. Just pin this in. In here, now you might need to just manipulate this so it fits exactly right. So just keep manipulating it with the pins. There we go, that's fine now. Okay, and we've now attached that in. So if I just open this up, as you can see. There is our sleeve panel attached onto our front and back panels of the pyjamas, okay? And you need to do that, obviously, for the other side as well. Now, when, when you've done that, what we need to do is we need to stitch from this point, a centimetre in, all the way along where you've pinned, all the way round to the other side, which is here. Okay, so I'm going to take my pyjamas off to the sewing machine. Well, first of all, I'm going to pin my other sleeve in. And then I'm going to take my pyjamas off to the sewing machine and stitch these sleeves in place. Right, so here we are at the sewing machine. And I'm going to now attach these sleeves in place. So we start off at one end of the sleeve and we're going a centimetre in. So just a back tack and forward and we're just following right along the edge as I'm doing now okay. it's very very easy just to go in just you know if you take your time as well because you need to just get this in really really nice and neat um, where there's no puckering or anything just make sure that the sleeve panels are nice and straight and even okay you can as you go along you can feel you can feel how the panels are sort of reacting to each other um, and you can just manipulate them so that they do end up going in really, really neatly. Let's just stitch right round. Okay, now the, obviously the curved parts, they're the little tricky bits, but if, it, if you've got your panels fitting exactly the same, then really you shouldn't have a problem at all getting these in place. Okay, and obviously remember your sleeve head notch. Okay, make sure that that is exactly where the shoulder point is. Okay, now I've just reached the shoulder point at this point now. And of course I'm just keeping this straight right along the edge here, really, really nicely. And it should, the sleeve, sleeve should just go into place really nicely okay so just keep going round and just manipulate these sleeves into place as you go ok 
Okay, so we're nearly now at the end. Nearly there. And that's it. And basically that is the sleeve head now in place, right along. And I'm going to just attach the other sleeve and then bring these over to the ironing board. So, as you can see, I've attached the sleeve in right the way around to this side. Um, and what you need to do is just check to see if there's any puckers or anything because if there is you need to go back and just rectify that so I'm just going to check mine okay and mine looks all fine and straight uh, we're just going to check the other one as well the other sleeve so again all stitched all the way around past the shoulder point okay and we just need to just check to see if all of this is gone in nicely okay without any puckers at all now if you're happy now I'm happy with that obviously it looks a bit it does look a little bit sort of puckery but what I mean is if like if it's caught like this okay and the sewing machine's caught like that you can't have that it's got to be where there's no parts caught at all it's going to be straight now when when you're happy with that what we need to do now is we need to just overlock this edge right around, okay? So exactly where you started stitching, going all the way around the whole part and getting the whole sleeve until you reach this point here, you need to overlock that in place. Now, if you don't have an overlocker, you can either use a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine or you can bind it. Now, so I'm going to go and take this over to the overlocker and I'm going to overlock around both of my sleeve panels. Okay, so as you can see, I've overlocked right around the whole of this sleeve head, right round, and I've done that on both sleeves. So the next bit, what we need to do is we need to attach right along the actual sleeve parts and the front and back panels together. So what you need to do is this here we're looking at the correct side now okay so you can see your collar here okay and that goes along your shoulder point so that's where we are at the here at this point here okay so you can see here the shoulder point and right round the sleeve to this point here okay so we're looking at the right side so what we need to do is get this point and this point Okay, so it's right underneath where the sleeve is. Okay, so this here, this is where your armpit would go if you were wearing, when you were wearing this. Okay, and as you can see, this here is the sleeve. Right, I'll just get this right. Okay, so you can see here that this here is the sleeve going along to this, these two armpit points. Okay, and of course, this is the the seam which goes right round the sleeve head all the way around to the shoulder point. So what we need to do is again right sides together we're just going to be attaching these sleeves so it's just one continuous stitch really it's really really easy so we're just going to attach the sleeves together right along here but make sure that these two seam points are exactly the same and they're both facing whichever way that you put make the seam go you've got to make sure that the seam is facing the same direction on either side okay so whichever way that you like your seam to face okay now basically I like my seam as if the the front and back panels are fa basically facing onto the sleeve panel so that means that my seam is going to be facing backwards so that's what I'm going to do with these two seam points here I'm going to make sure 
I'll just make sure this is all out of the way. I'm going to make sure that these two seam points are facing this way. Okay, so as you can see, they're both facing exactly the same position. And you've got to make sure, like I say, that the seam lines are matching together. And we're just going to put a pin in there as well. Okay, now all this should be straight. Okay, now you can just make sure that this is all really nice and straight. Right along the whole of the sleeve itself. Just make sure that's all nice, nice and flat. Okay, put another pin here as well. And now, with this seam, we've got the front seam running all the way down to the bottom. So this is basically, oh this is the back, this is the back panel on top of our front panel. So it's basically just one continuous seam from the sleeve right along to these seams here, the armpit points, right along until we reach the very bottom hem of our pyjamas over here. So I'm just going to put a couple more pins in here just to secure that all in place. Okay, so basically what we're doing is we're stitching one centimetre in from the hem of our pyjamas right along this side seam to the sleeve point, okay, so the armpit point of the sleeves right along the under seam of the sleeves to this point right here, okay, and we need to be doing that with both of our seams. Right, so as you can see I've now stitched right along so this is the, the sleeve itself, right along the bottom seam of the sleeve. This is here the uh, where your armpit would be, the armpit point of the sleeve, all the way along to the side seams, all the way to the hem. And I've done that on both sides. And as you can see, if we open this out, this sleeve, this seam should be really, really nicely aligned, okay? It's a nice cross, as you can see there. Okay, so you need to check that on both and when you're happy with that, again, what we need to do is we need to overlock the same seam again on the edge, so, or bind it, whatever you're doing, okay? So you're going from here, all the way along, armpit point, all the way along to the sleeve end at this point here and we're doing this for both sides. Okay, so... As you can see, I've overlocked right along this side seam and the sleeve panel, okay? And what we need to do now is just open this out and we need to just give this a nice press. So, I'm going to basically make my, my seam face backwards onto the back panel, okay? Because this is the front panel, this is the back panel. And we're just going to press this seam facing backwards. Just give it a nice press. Okay, now for the sleeve we need a sleeve board. So I'm just going to bring the sleeve board over and just slide this sleeve onto the sleeve board so we can basically press this a lot easier. And again we're just going to be pressing the seam so that of course it's going to match the way that the seam's facing what we pressed earlier. Oh, actually, I've got that going the wrong way, so we're just going to press this the other way. Like so. Press that nice. And again, over this point here, where the the seams, all the seams sort of come together at this point. We just need to press this nicely as well. Okay, and when you've done that, obviously, you can turn your pyjamas inside out. So I've got the sleeve here. Just turn these inside out. And you can also give that another nice press 
on the correct side. Like so. Okay, and again, right along the side seam. As you can see here, we've got the side seam of our uh, pyjamas. We just need to just give that a nice press as well. There we go. And basically, that's our sleeve panels in place. Now, I'm just going to carry on pressing these side seams. And then I'm going to put this on the mannequin ready to show you the end result. So basically we have now attached our sleeves onto our pyjama top and as you can see it's looking pretty well finished. We're nearly there. All we have left to do is put our buttons and buttonholes on and just finish the sleeve hem and the actual bottom hem as well. So in the next video I'm going to be showing you how to do just that and we will be putting in the buttons and buttonholes. So I will see you then.